So this is just a quick little video I wanted to to show off this little micro soldering iron I just put together. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit ghetto, but if, you, if you're careful, it, it works really well. Um, all this is is it's just a little it's a little dental pick um, from this pack here. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby the other day, and all I did to convert it to a micro soldering iron is I put this little heater wire on the end of it. This is a uh, length of 26 gauge Canthal heater wire and I suppose Nichrome would work as well for this. Um, in order to insulate the Nichrome, excuse me, the Canthal from the, the pick, I just used uh, this. This is braided fiberglass tubing. This is maybe a millimeter in diameter. I just pushed that up over the, the tip of this pick here um, and that provides good good electrical insulation without compromising too much thermal insulation. Um, in order to actually get solder to stick to the tip of this thing once it does heat up, um, I initially was just trying to use the stainless steel tip that was on the pick, but apparently solder does not stick well to stainless steel. So I had to make a slight modification where I added this, this copper tip to it here. Um, all this is is it's a length of a thicker gauge copper, single stranded copper wire that goes up all the way underneath this fiberglass here and sticks out to here and then I just cut it at a steep angle so that it would kind of have a, a sharp kind of needle shaped tip to it. Um, and I, I pushed this copper all the way up underneath this fiberglass here because copper it's, it's a really good thermal conductor so if I have the copper right underneath the, the heater wire there, it'll hopefully transfer the heat out to the tip more effectively than if I just had it maybe attached at the end here and it had to passively heat through the through the stainless steel. Um, in order to connect the copper tip there more securely, you can see I wrapped a little bit of copper wire around it on the tip there. And this is just 26 gauge um, copper speaker wire. And, uh, of course, all the enamel has been burned off from the heat, but uh, you can see this is its a complete unit here, and it works pretty well. In order to power this, I'm just using these two little alligator clips that I've got taped going down the handle here, and they go to this little uh, power supply. And so I like to run it maybe around 3 volts. That's at 4.7 watts or 4.7 amps, excuse me. So not not a ton of power here, but it's a small soldering iron. And uh, if I turn the lights off, maybe we can see it warming up a little better. Let me turn this off. Yeah, there you can see it's starting to uh, starting to glow on the ends there. And uh, as it as it warms up, the the middle coils will start to glow a little bit too, and that'll transfer their heat down to the copper wire that's underneath it and uh, down to this tip right here. So let me turn the light back on and kind of show you what that looks like to melt some solder on this. So I've, here I've got some fairly thick cage solder but let's see if I just touch it to the tip of it there. Fix it up. Obviously, it doesn't hold a lot on the tip of it there because it's only a very small surface area. But if you have small wires that you're working with, there we go. This can be a, uh, a very valuable tool to have. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I hope you like this this video. Hope you like this type of video. I've got. Lots of these to do. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.